So uh, there's some concern that when you do a stop or e-stop during the running a program, uh, example, this your Z axis is very low, so lower it like that. Uh, so where you're cutting like this, right? And your Z stop, and then suddenly when you hit uh, e-stop example let's do a plug okay yeah that's the case plug is on and then when so your your z is low but in my case if we look on air so let's lower it down to oops wow that's almost close <laughs> so that's almost the the lower it can go um, and then it will come start gotta cut my baseboard um, the key here is how do you play how your placement of your uh, spindle so if you look on mine it's kind of kind of like on the middle it's not all the way it's not all the way down it's in the middle depending on your spindle but in my case that's the that's the lowest I can go before I start cutting the baseboard or I can go more if I have a very short uh bits but i think this is already relatively short bits it's like a i guess this is probably an inch long bit so what happened is so if i turn on the plug on, let's turn on and then let's say we're running it and then we click stop we click stop or you just again okay, just press e stop i'm gonna press the e stop is what happened because the when you click the e-stop the controller will turn off the plug so this will happen uh, you see here uh, it's super squish and that's the reason I created this uh, dash route uh, and that's in the case of emergency so this one is already very low and if you see there's like the foot was dragged a little bit down which is also the, the idea of a thumb screw so if you unless you really tighten it so bad that this will actually create a lot of force in here uh, or if it's not if too much like there's still too much not enough space and still hit it this will disengage which totally fine because that's the idea instead of damaging everything so